Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to lecture 2 of microcontroller AVR 8 Mega 32. Today we will study about what is inside the microcontroller. There are three things inside the microcontroller. First one is resistors, second one is ALU, third one is control unit. In resistors, we store temporary data. Resistors can be named like A, B, C, D, anything which you mean. There are three important special resistors. Program counter, instruction resistor, status resistor. ALU is metric logic unit hardware which performs arithmetic operations such as addition, suppression and logic operations such as not, not operation, or operation and operation ZOR, ZOR operation Control unit Control unit records the instructions first from the memory It means that control unit take instructions from the memory and analyze those instructions and check which operation has to be performed if it analyzes that addition operation has to be performed, it generates the signals to perform that operation. Depending on that instruction, it performs various operations like addition, suppression, or ZOR, add, subtract, etc. Inside the microcontroller, there are Resistors, control bus, ALU, program counter, instruction decoder, recorder control, instruction register. This is the internal structure of the microcontroller. First of all, program counter executes the address of that memory location where your code is being written. Then, instruction register points towards that memory location at which the program counter is pointing. It reads instruction from that memory location and fetches that instruction to the instruction decoder controller. Instruction decoder and controller decodes that instruction and generates binary signals by using control bus to ALU unit or to resistors. If it shows that this is addition operation or OR operation or suppression operation or something like that, then it uses ALU. If it, uh, this instruction means that to store any temporary data in at any temporary location of the memory, then it uses resistors. In this way, all this operation works. Adding three numbers. Suppose add number tw number twenty one, forty two, and twelve. Now I will take a quiz from you. Which microcontroller unit add the two numbers? Option A resistor. Option B ALU. Option C control unit. I hope many of you have answered correctly. ALU the ALU. Now coming to the second question. Before the ALU can add the numbers where should the numbers be temporarily stored? Tell me where the numbers are temporarily stored. I hope some of you have given the right answer. If not then please don't lose heart. I will be explaining further in the in this lecture resistors correct answer is resistors assume that cpu has four resistors a b c and d what is the range of memory address and size of data if the cpu can assess data through an 8 bit data bus and 16 bit address bus 
tell me if you you have four resistors a b c and d then what is the range of memory address and size of data if the cpu can assess the 8 bit data bus and 16 bit address bus means you have 8 bit data bus and 16 bit address bus then tell me memory address ki range kya hogi anyone i hope you have given the right question right answer now proceeding further it can assess one byte of instruction or data and address range is 00 to fffh many of you guys may be confused how it comes simple we have 8 bit data bus 16 and 16 bit address bus 8 bit data bus means it can take 8 bit of data at a time 8 bit equals to 1 byte so it means it can assess one byte of instruction or data. Now coming to the second point, how, 16 bit address bus. How 16 bit address bus ranges address from 00 to FFF? We mean we think we see that address bus is 16 bit. So it means that it can assess 2 rest for 16 memory locations which is equal to 655536-1 equals to 65535 equals to tetra f. Now why we subtract my 1? We subtracted 1 because in memory the address always starts from 0000. Now taking second example, suppose we have 8 bit address bus then we will do 2 raised to power 8 which is, which is equal to 2 5 6 to 56 minus 1 because memory address always start from 0 0 which is will be equal to now 2 5 5 and in hexa it would be equals to double F writing H which means it represents Hadza now it is the end of lecture 2 and I would say please subscribe for more if you like my video then please give a thumb up and if you have any question or if you have any comment about my video then please comment below the comment section Thank you, Allah Hafiz.